Today going to do a quick video on this um, Palomar TX100 two pill DC amplifier. Um, pill is short for the RF power transistors which is those two uh, white things there and of course they're called pills because they kind of look like it so just simple to call them pills instead of um, power transistors but what I really wanted to show is one of my pet peeves. Um, this amp does have two trimmers. One for the output on that bigger coil. And then here on the smaller coil, uh, most amps don't have uh, uh, input trimmer, but this one does. And some people don't know how to use it or um, what you're supposed to do with that. But anyway, this uh, to trim the SWR coming into the amp. Um, with the amp off we just turned it off and I have this automatic SWR watt meter in between the amp and the radio and this watt meter is um, after the amp and then I'm going into a dummy load so this is the output watt meter and I'm using this meter here for input SWR Again, the radio is going through this uh, SWR watt meter, but I got it on SWR, and it calibrates and reads SWR automatically. So, no calibrating. That's why I like that guy. I like no calibrating watt meters and uh, or SWR meters. And then from the uh, SWR meter into the um, amp here, and then out the amp into the um, big MFJ giant watt meter and up top I have a great big giant dummy load that this is all going into so anyway I got the amp off and we got to key it down going through all that into the dummy load and I have about a 1.3 SWR because I have uh, the watt meter in line, the amp in line, the um, other watt meter in line before it gets to the dummy load. If I took all that out of line then that um, SWR reading would be flat but so much stuff in line is kinda shooting up my SWR a little bit, bit um, but anyway I wanted to show what an input SWR is because I see a lot of people on the net saying hey they turn the amp on the SWR go up or the SWR on the radio goes up you know like what's happening with the amp on instead of um, the S input SWR here going straight through into the dummy load I got up there these watts coming from the radio are going still through the SWR meter but they're going into the amp they're going into through this little um, coil or choke here and then into the transistors that's where these watts are going they're not going out to the antenna um, so once we got the amp on the watts again or the SWR reading is reading the watts that are going here it has nothing to do with the output watts or the uh, watts going into the antenna not just the watts that are going in that are driving these um, transistors here so I think I got the SWR trimmer here this little variable cap right here uh, turned so I got a bad SWR with the amp on and as you can see I key the amp now and now I got a uh, little over a 3 to 1 SWR and it's choking down the watts because I'm doing uh, 25 watts there dead key so this again is the SWR going into the amp you can put it, put it on watts 10 watt scale and I'm doing a little under 3 watts going into the amp that's watts now so about a little under three watts but that's my input SWR going into the amp if I turn the amp off it goes back to the dummy load and back to that um, 1.3 uh, match going into the dummy load so back with the amp on boy how am I gonna do this I wanted to tune the amp um, I need another hand I'm gonna try it uh, got the mic keyed in one hand camera in another and I'm gonna try to tune this temp tuner here for the um, a lower input SWR. Oop, wrong way. See how it went up? 
now it's it's shorting out the um, watts going in so it wasn't even keying the relay so I went the wrong way on the tuner and I'm tuning the tuner here a little bit you can see it turn a little bit two to one 1.8 yeah, screwdriver came off 1.5 Yeah, down about a one, about a one point one, and then it starts going up again. So that's about low as it goes on this one, which is really good. A one point one input SWR now. That's what the amp on again with that uh, cap all tuned up, and now my watts went from um, thirty watt dead key to a sixty watt dead key. So about doubled my watts just by. Um, Tuning my input SWR real low there with this input trimmer cap here. So that's all I wanted to show in this video today is um, if I want a working amp, audio. Swing about 80 on average, probably do 100 peak. Audio, a little over 100, 110. Audio, audio. That's peak watts. But again, you tune that input tuner for a low SWR, you tune the output for the most watts. The input is always going to be on the um, smaller uh, choke there. The input one is going to be on the small one, and of course the output is going to be the um, bigger one. That's if they have them. Not all amps have uh, one or the other or, or both. Some of them have neither, some of them have uh, output. But anyway, that's the way an input tuner or input trimmer works on an amp that has that. Um, also, some tube amps have that too. They have a driver uh, or a radio tuner or input tuner. Might even call it something else. But they have some amps. Some tube amps have that too. Some do not. But if it has it, tune it for the lowest SWR. All right, that's it for this video. Bye.